Alright guys, what is up? Then today I'm coming at you with my updated trade binder for October of 2015. Uh, before I get into the binder, this is just for my uh, followers on YouTube, my subscribers. Um, I do have the 2000 subscriber special plan, and I hopefully can do it this week um, of this recording. Um, but I just had to get finish getting my room cleaned up and reorganized because I had a bunch of I have a bunch of stuff on my wall. If you guys didn't know, I might have shown it in past videos. Um, but I had to put some stuff back up. I took some things down and dusted them and just kind of made everything look a little more neat, presentable, and orderly and all that. Uh, so I will be doing a room tour, as one of my subscribers had suggested in a video. And I thought that would be a really cool thing to show for you guys. Um, but just to let you guys know, I haven't forgotten about it. I haven't kind of ignored it. It's just I've been kind of busy, and plus that kind of happened. So, uh, yeah, under the trade binder uh, rules, if you come to me, you send first. Um... And my wants will be in the description down below. If you don't have any of my wants, I will look at your binder. But if I don't respond, it's probably because I just didn't see anything. Uh, cause I've had people like comment on my videos and like their binders were just like nothing but commons, tins, and starter deck hollows and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but my wants list, I'm mainly just looking for collection stuff. It'll all be in the description down below. I'm also looking to finish a couple decks. Uh, the two decks I want to finish like really quickly um, are. Um, I just drew a blank, um, Yang, not Yang Zings, I have that deck done, I don't know why I'm thinking Yang Zings, um, wanting to do Cyframes and Mermails, uh, so if you guys have any Mermail or Cyframe stuff, uh, the Cyframes, I need two each of Beta and Gamma, the two Ultra Rares, and then two Cyframe Lord Omega, uh, the one that everybody's after that's wanting to build Cyframes, and I also need two Psychic Feel Zone for that also. Um, and then for Mermails, I basically need all the big guys, and then a couple of the extra deck monsters. Uh, but all that will be listed in the description down below, and a lot of my collection, I just want to get finished as soon as possible. Uh, so without further ado, let us get into the binder. And everything's been, like, reorganized, I just finished doing that. Uh, the first couple pages are just, like, decks and stuff. Uh, it's my Volcanic deck. Uh, some Gold Rockets, and some Commons, Rare Firestorm Guards. Um, ulti first, Volcanic Shell, Scatter Shots, Super Counter, Secret Doom Fire. Uh, this is a tech of mine that I played in there and actually worked out really well. Spiritual Fire at Kurenai. Um, some common counters. You know, play set of the new Blaze Accelerator trap card that made this deck super good. Um, ulti Blaze Accelerator. I didn't actually play this, but some people do play it, but in case you want it, there you go. And some Ultra Magic Planners. Uh, some Fire King stuff and some Pokemon cards, just random EXs. Uh, Restroom EX from the tin. Dancy and Mega Dancy from the little like value box thing. Uh, and these three actually pulled from packs. Um, Forges, Groudon, and Full Art Lucario, and the rest of the Fire King stuff. Uh, some Heratic cards, and then a Shonen Jump Blue Eyes if anybody wants that. And some just more generic Heratic stuff. Uh, some Pendulum Dino stuff. Uh, these two are Platinum Secrets. This is an ulti first. Uh, and then some Royal Magical Library shenanigans, stuff you typically play with Chicken Race. I don't actually have a set of Chicken Race for trade. The set I have it's in a deck right now. Uh, but yeah, these two are from Magician's Forest, and this is from the Yugi deck. These, of course, are all Metal Raiders. Uh, this one actually did pull from a Legendary Collection pack, so it's basically mint. Not that it really matters, because it's a cheap card anyways. Uh, the two Pseudo Space are Unlimited. This is a first edition misprint. You can kind of see the names shifted up. Actually, starting to go out of the box a little bit. Uh, some super first Dark World dealings. Uh, some of the bamboo swords. Uh, Tune tables are all from Battle uh, Battle City Duels pack thing. Some mallets, cursed bamboo sword, a super unlimited Tune World Old Sea First Magical Explosion. These aren't part of the deck. I just kind of put them there just because. But the three um, alternate signer dragons, I forget what they're actually called, but the ones that got reprinted, uh, high speed riders that made them legal in the UK and Europe, because they don't get mega promos over there. Uh, some synchron stuff, these are secrets, this is ultra, uh, but it's got some creases up at the top, and it's kind of curved, but the curving thing's no big deal, it's just the creases that kind of affect it. And these, of course, are from the deck. That's some more stuff. And then onto the synchros, just kind of generic stuff, these are old T's. Um, these are all Ultras from Shonen Jump. Uh, that's from Legendary Collection promo. Uh, these are comments from Legendary Collection and a random Japanese blue eyes. And some pendulum stuff. My camera just really went out of focus, so let me fix that. Come on, camera. Focus. 
Okay, there it goes. Uh, this is an ulti, odd eyes. That's some trap trick stuff. These are rare, that's super. And some random, like, god card stuff. Uh, it's battle pack. This is jump. Uh, these are both 10 promos. And that's a jerky up at the top in case you can't see. Yeah, I try to do this at nighttime because whenever I do it during the daytime, I have to do it by my window. Otherwise, my bedroom light gets a really bad glare whenever I usually film on my bed. Uh, but I have to do it by the window. And normally, by the window, I get a really bad glare from uh, sunlight. So if I do this at nighttime, it actually gives me the best quality so you don't get any glare on the pockets or anything. Uh, this is a secret um, debris dragon and an ulti. And some ulti stuff. Um, Banish of the Radiance and Wind Up Kitten. It's more random secret stuff. These are both Mega Pack. These are Korean cards. Uh, Genesis Dragon, Ori Kalko, Shinros. Uh, and then Lothic Cyber Dragon. Uh, some Premium Gold, First Edition, Lone Fire Blossoms. Uh, these are both from the deck, the Hyperions. It's Hobby League. These are Mega Pack. It's Legendary Collection. It's from the deck. This is kind of damaged. Uh, these are super. This one's got some edge wear. Uh, it's unlimited. Uh, and then a super unlimited zombie master pack fresh. Bought a tactical illusion pack at Walmart and pulled it. Uh, the Bixie's mega pack. Secret and, secret and gold gores. Ulti Shien. And these are all raw yellow first edition. Uh, six Sams. Um, a near complete Exodia set. These are Dark Beginnings. That's Master Collection. This is LOB with some edge wear. And then some Christia's, a Dark Arm, and then an Ulti Plague Spreader with some creasing up the top, and then on the side right there. Kind of a shame, it's a really nice card, but shouldn't be worth too much, just because of the damage on it. Uh, some Armageddon Knights, and then more just like cheap ultis, because normally I put my ultis up at the front, but it's mainly just like cheap stuff, and it's just kind of in the back and kind of out of the way. And some Flintlocks if anybody wants to make that deck. And these are all Ulti's, Ultra and Super. And then the Xyz, it's going to be really dark. You can probably see there's a Constellar Omega and the Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Oh, that's a Secret First, Pleiades from Hidden Arsenal 7. Um, you can probably see the artworks from here a little bit better. It's just up there, the Super Dimensional Robot and Omega are just really, really dark cards. Um, this is from Secrets of Eternity. Uh, this is Mega Pack, that's Shatter Foil, and then these are all rares. And then on the Fusion, it's not really a whole lot. Um, Elmas Hero Glonios. Uh, it's a secret. Uh, Thousand Dragon. And then that's Mega Pack, First of the Dragons. Uh, the Ulti Etelis are unlimited. Mega Pack. Uh, these are unlimited. Miracle Contact and Advanced Dark. It's Mega Pack. Super Elegant Egotist. On camera, quick going out of focus. Uh, this is from Mega Pack from last year. It's Mega Pack from this year. Uh, Swords of Concealing Light is a misprint. Uh, it's with a foil. You can probably see that there is a line along here somewhere where, like, the foil like cuts off, but it's still there. Let me take that sleeve and see if that fixes anything. That's not really worth much, it's just kind of a cool misprint. Yeah, you can kind of see the line right there in that glare. And you can see where the foil like cuts off along there. That's just kind of cool. I got it from like one of those super value box things they have at Walmart for like 10 bucks, where you get like a ton of battle pack three packs and three random boosters. Uh, and some flints to go along with the flintlock if anyone wants to make that deck. And some machine dupes. They're all from the uh, Machina deck. Or actually, this one's from the Machina deck. This is from Starter Deck 10, or Structure Deck 10. I forget which one that is. And some reasonings and some zombie stuff. So this camera does not want to stay focused. And then just more of the cheap ulties and some random Adolce stuff I got from some Return of the Duels packs. And this one just kind of had it. Uh, some ulti, Black Horn of Heaven, and everything else you should be able to see. Uh, it's Mega Pack. This is first edition with some edge wear. You can kind of see it. And then the unlimited ones near mint. And some secrets. This is Mega Pack. It's a gold warning. It's Mega Pack. Uh, misprint. Um, Revival of the Immortals. You can see the Eye of Anubis is really off center. So you can see that. Just kind of a random little misprint. Kind of neat. Collected these for a little bit and just kind of gave up on the collection halfway. 
Uh, that's unlimited void trap pole. That's from Judgment of the Light. Uh, this is a unlimited uh, deck dev. Uh, the Ryoku feels just like a random misprint, but they're all like that. Uh, from the Kaiba deck, if you guys can see, it'll focus. Come on, camera. There we go. You can see where they said spell card that designates one monster on the field. They add an extra L, so kind of funny. And then the last bit is just some fake cards from my collection. I decided to put up for trade because I know a lot of people are starting to get into collecting fake cards. Uh, some English Exodia pieces with the OCG artwork. Um, but they say Konami on the back. Little focus. Yeah, I spelled Konami wrong. Kind of funny. Uh, then a Chinese Hollow Wing Dragon of Raw. And then a Chaos Emperor Dragon, but they spelled the name wrong. Uh, some character cards. A fake Toon Blue Eyes. I mean, of course it's fake because it's back here, but they spelled it Blue Eyes T U Dan. And then just some more generic fake stuff. Spell card with stars. Stash shield is an equip. A Senju with the OCG artwork. And then just some kind of like half decent fake cards. Some Adolce stuff. A spellbook library or spellbook tower. Miss Megalo, Effect Veiler, Scrap Dragon. Um, from what it looks like, they tried to copy the old T uh, Blackwing Dragon because the picture's really grainy. And then um, Barrel Dragon with the OCG artwork. Uh, that started at Kaiba Blue Eyes. It's just common. The font's a little funny on the flavor text. Uh, some Pharaoh's Judgment, but it's a normal monster. And then just some weird stuff. Uh, uh, Sword and Shield, but they got the name like completely wrong. I'll let you guys read that. Uh, then they named that one Hydrogen Dragon, and then Appetite Kettle. Uh, fake Gate Guardian cards, Black Cow's Magician, uh, Chinese Ultimate Makira the Destructor. Looks kind of cool and kind of neat to find a fake ulti. And these all just have goofy names like a huge scorpion with evil soul. Come on, camera. Stop doing this. Yeah, they named this one. It's a huge scorpion with evil soul. Camera. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, the White Horse Wizard Pickle. And then Fire Vomity Dragon. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it for my trade binder. And kind of need to add some fake stuff in there. Because I'm trying to get rid of like my loose bulk stuff. Just to kind of clear up space. Um, but yeah, once this will be in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick binder update. And hopefully I can get some of the stuff on my once list pretty soon. So I really want to finish some of my collections and some of my decks. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.